Hi guys, Max Moschiano here reporting for TNN and I am doing the drug day PSA with Miss Brim. So let's start. Uh, Miss Brim, what is the Drug Education Day? So Drug Education Day is a day that the sophomores, all the sophomore class will be participating in um, a total of 10 breakout sessions and each session that they go to is either dealing with treatment, will deal with the brain or the facts and the effects of the drugs um, and at the end of each session they have the opportunity to ask that professional that is in that room um, questions that they may have or could not find throughout their research. Okay, thank you. Um, who's involved? Um, so this year we have JFT Recovery um, coming from Millersburg. They are, a lot of them are recovering addicts actually. We have the YMCA um, coming to do tobacco and vapes. We have Michael Bernardo who is actually from Recovery um, Center of America. We have John Goshert who's the Chief County Detective of Dauphin County. We have Lauren Krebs who is a prevention specialist for the state um, in drug and alcohol. We have Sean O'Haran, who is actually an EMT. We have Chris Smith, who will be with the canine unit. We have Graham Hetrick, who is our Dauphin County coroner. And then last but not least is Amanda Jernigan, who is with Godenzia House, which is a treatment facility. Okay. Uh, why is Drug Day important? Uh, I think you can read a textbook all you want. But in order to get the real life scenario and the real life picture, mm -hmm. by bringing these people in, the people that are working in treatment, they have the, uh, they see it every day. They know exactly what goes on in there and they can relay that information best to our students that they get it and that they understand. And I think you can read about treatment centers, but when you have someone that's there in the dredges every day, you're gonna get the real story. Um, and then I think also for the, the brain, um, a lot of times we'll bring in a specialist from Hershey and we'll just pull those people aside and do that on their, on their own because um, it was, we have found that that situation was just better for the kids that were specifically researching the brain. And last but not least, like, when you look at Sean O'Haran who is on, he's an EMT, so he's mm -hmm. on the ambulance and he's on the life. He's the one that actually comes in and he shows them what Narcan looks like. Um, Narcan's nor usually um, through the nose, but if it doesn't work through the nose, they actually drill a hole in the tibia. Um, most wow. kids don't know that, so they'll get to see that, and he'll tell them exactly what he's seeing out there. Um, and then Graham Hattrick, who's the Dauphin County Coroner, um, if you know anything about him, he has a show, and I think it's like Speaking for the Dead or something like that. And he gives what he is seeing. What are what are the overdoses that we're seeing in the county? What's the the big drugs and things like that? And the canine unit is really neat. The kids always enjoy that to see exactly how the dog is trained and how the dog finds the the drugs, etc. So it's real life experiences that you know they get firsthand from yeah. those people. All right, thank you. Uh, really appreciate it. And we're going to be sending you guys back to TNN.